Well, the inductees for the Steuben County Hall of Fame, the names have been released, and there's been some backlash on one nominee who was rejected, and that is Dwayne Eddy. And right now I'm joined with Frank DeCombe. He's the host of Frankly Speaking that's on the radio to talk about this. Now, Frank, uh, he happens to be one of your nominees. Let's just start with sure. uh, what made you want to nominate him? Well, to me, it seemed like a no-brainer. You have a country, you have a, a rock and roll pioneer, a rock and roll legend. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and he's in the Musicians Hall of Fame. So to me, it seemed like we, from Corning and Steuben County, obviously should, you know, respect him and honor him. And of course, you had mentioned this uh, on your uh, talk show. Yes. But what's really fueling the disappointment? I guess when you have an 81-year-old living legend who still plays. I think of the opportunity that it could have brought to Steuben County, maybe playing a show or just accepting the award. And I think for a guy who's always bragged about the fact that he's been, is from Corning, New York, it, it bothers me that we've done nothing in return, um, whether it's the Steuben County Hall of Fame or just something like a sign in Corning. I will say this takes nothing away from the people that got in the Hall of Fame. Congratulations to them. Well deserved. But Dwayne Eddy also deserved that respect. So what are you doing right now uh, in response? Uh, with this. Yeah, and I talking uh, talking about it on the show. I, I just spread the word that I that I think there's a missed opportunity here, and that it was a wrong-headed decision, and that Dwayne Eddy uh, needs to be awarded something in the in the near future. And now, have you made this nomination? Have you nominated him before? Or no, this was the first year. Yeah, this was the first year. But when I found out that a rock and roll hall of famer and a musicians hall of famer wasn't in the Steuben County Hall of Fame, I thought, well, that's miss someone missed something here. So that's why I put the nomination in. And, and I was really disappointed and let down to hear that they decided not to get it past the committee. All right. Well, Frank, thank you so much for taking the time for being with us and talking about this. Uh, we did reach out to the Steuben County Manager, Jack Wheeler. He's not part of the committee, but before you head out, we did reach out to him. He helps with the process, sure. and this is what he had to say. I would say that someone not being selected the first time around, I don't think is a slight to anyone. We always get high quality nominations. Uh, Mr. Eddie's certainly one of them. Um, but I think the folks who went into the Hall of Fame this year also were very, very deserving as well. Now, this year's inductees include Richard Snavely, the founder of Family Life Ministries. Carol and Patricia Haynes are also inductees with strong roots to the local community. They've owned a local business that has grown nationally for nearly 60 years. And last is Richard Call, a World War II and a Korean War veteran with strong ties in giving back to the local community. Now, nominations are accepted by the county historian year-round. And, of course, AT News will be right back.